<laughs> we didn't see that coming, did we? Sound check. G'day and welcome to another vocal analysis here at Voice Essentials. My name is Dr. Dan and today we get to, I get to review with you a, a voice that I have admired for a long time. Kristen Chenoweth. She is, she is divine. If you've not heard of Kristen Chenoweth, then it's likely that you don't hang around the music theatre scene. She is so well known in music theatre. She has performed on Broadway. She's won Tonys. She, she's amazing. Today we're going to be listening to her perform Maybe This Time, originally sung by Liza Minnelli in the 1972 movie Cabaret. This is a, a real education in how to build a song, how to, to lay a foundation but then quickly build it. This is a very short song. It's only, it's less than three minutes long. Yet what Kristen packs in to this piece it's a masterclass. It is. We're going to dive straight in. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do, and you'll probably see me really enjoying it. Let's let's get into this. Maybe this time I'll be lucky. Maybe this time he'll stay. Okay, I've got, I've got to mention it, but that start is, you, you go, oh, well, that, you know, she started the song. Have a listen to how clean, steady, even, accurate, everything about those two opening lines are so good. So let's play them again. And it, it really, it also sets up the foundation for where this is going to go. It's so reserved in the, in the sense that it's, you know, she's, she's not giving us a lot of indication as to how big this is going to get. Have a listen to it again. Maybe this time I'll be lucky. Maybe this time he'll stay. Uh, and she uses the M. Maybe. Maybe this time, may, may, she's placing, she's ve being very intentional. She, she doesn't give it away. She's not, she's not telling us what she's doing. She's just doing it. And uh, it's so very good. Maybe this time, for the first time, love won't hurry away. Oh, hear that, that, just that slight change of, of uh, voicing. So she goes to a lighter upper register sound. So she's gone from a shortener and dominant, not a, not a big ballsy sort of bold sort of sound, but it's very spoken in those first couple of lines. And now it's this lighter sound, which gives us a different texture and colors it differently. It's all a part of the build. Have a listen to that again. Like the last time and the time before. Mm, the way she moves through those lower notes. Again, she's not, she not, you know, it's not this big declaration of listen to my technique. It's just all there. Yeah, and, and the, those lower notes. Time before. And she doesn't sort of bottom out on them. She really just moves through them very evenly. Listen to it again. Like the last time and the time before. Good, good. Everybody loves a winner, so nobody loved me. Lady peaceful, lady happy. 
her placement does not move. <laughs> we didn't see that coming, did we? The big growl, sort of this big, okay, now we're going to do something different again. It's it's building. Have a listen to the way she sort of, sort of almost, it almost takes you by surprise that it's suddenly there, that big rawr. It's this build, 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 isn't it? Because the melody of this tune, it's not an extensive range. It's really left up to the singer. I often talk with my students about the fact that there sometimes there are songs where when you sing them you you kind of just feel like you're along for the ride the song almost sings itself then there are other songs where you the singer have to bring a lot to the table you have to drive and energize the song whether it be through stylistic choices you know through adding vocal effects or changing onsets and offsets or whether it be through the way you layer and in this particular instance that's what we're seeing we're seeing the singer bring to the bring to the the whole process that sort of real narrative layering that characterization that is um empowering energizing the actual song and making it one could argue almost more than it is if it were just by itself and i have heard this song done and it, it and it can fall flat when the singer doesn't really bring that aspect that extra um part to it but of course that's not what's happening here with ms chenoworth <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if if you if there if you didn't understand that sort of last note which kind of almost stands out from the rest. Kristen Chenoweth is a a classically trained singer from memory took her training all the way through to master's level. So she is a highly educated, highly trained um singer, classically informed. And she does a whole range of of um pieces in fact what i want to encourage you to do jump off I'll, I'll leave the link in the description section below to a tune called uh, girl in 14g and uh where she does this really great rendition of three different voicings i won't say anymore you can go and check it out if you've never seen it before she's she's so good i i suspect i would i think i'll find myself doing a few more reviews of her of her work over the coming coming time. I very much hope you enjoyed today's vocal analysis. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well. <laughs>